What's going on guys? Half Click Up here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to yet another installment in our Exploring Waco series. Now in today's episode we're going to explore the Indian Spring and the uh, Waco Suspension Bridge, both of which happen to be right next to each other and so that works out for you and works out for me. Yeah, let's go! So, just some quick facts about this thing. It has the honor of being known as the first suspension bridge ever constructed in the state of Texas, which was back in the early 1800s. That's it right there. And today it's only a pedestrian bridge, so it's a tourist attraction. So, other historic features of this thing, and you can see all the folks here, it's a pretty popular attraction. Not only was it the first suspension bridge in the state of Texas, but it uh, was originally part of the Chisholm Trail. Now the Chisholm Trail back in the day was the primary cattle trail uh, for the pioneers, right? They moved uh, cattle, longhorns, if you will, if you will um, from the south up the central Texas up towards the north to uh, Fort Worth and Dallas and what have you. The original footings of the bridge consisted of freaking three million bricks, y'all. Three million bricks were, which were all uh, manufactured locally. Now you'll see the fact that this was like the primary cattle trail, the Chisholm Trail. You'll see the fact that that was a thing um, by the fact that it is immortalized in the form of all of these bronze statues, which are actually kind of cool. <sighs> Vaquero and Longhorn. Right on, man. So these things are giant too, by the way. I don't know if the... Uh... Let me go check this one out over here. I don't know if the wide-angle lens distorts this at all for you but it is quite impressive I mean there's like dozens of them you know I don't know if you can see but they, they go all the way back there it's like a it mimics the Chisholm Trail you see and it says branding the Brazos trail boss and longhorns yeah so the city of Waco. Waco is actually an Indian word. It, I believe it starts with an H, to be honest with you. Like, Waco. The Huacoan Indians uh, what drew them to this area of Texas, right by this river, is the fact that uh, there's a natural spring, which is why this is called Indian Springs Park, and it's why... Um, Obviously, the spring is called Indian Spring. Well, to this day, it is actually still a thing. It's a physical, real spring. It's right down there, down by the, uh, on the it's on the banks of the river. And we, we'll actually go walk down there and check it out. Well, this plaque says, The Waco Suspension Bridge. In 1866, the Waco Bridge Company was granted a 25-year charter to build a toll bridge here. The charter guaranteed that no other bridge or ferry could be built within five miles. Construction began in 1868, and after much financial difficulty was finished in 1870, bridge traffic included wagons, pedestrians, and cattle herds. Special rates were given to heavy users. From 1875 to 1889, the public agitated for a free bridge, but the company retained its monopoly. Then in 1889, the bridge was sold to McLennan County, which gave it to the city of Waco as a free bridge. Bridge. Let's go see. Now, as I was saying earlier, this uh, this thing was originally a full-on cattle drive bridge, and it uh, it it hosted vehicular traffic. It was notorious because you were able to have two horse carriages or wagons go side by side like opposite lanes of traffic. So it was very popular, as you can imagine. Let's see the views right fast. A little chill spot. Again, this is Indian Springs Park. This is the Brazos River. And it is freaking beautiful, man. And, you know, I would imagine the people that have lived in Waco all their lives don't have an appreciation for this anymore. But the fact of the matter is, uh, in the heart of Texas, this is one of the most beautiful areas. Look at this. Sweet, right? Especially on a beautiful day like today. I see down there, there's like a river walk. We're gonna go down there on this side and check out the spring. Let's see. That's actually it right there. See that, that rocky outcrop? Doesn't look like much. Um, at one point in time, I would imagine it was 
highly impressive but this is a man-made structure i don't know if these rocks are original or if this was added on later i really don't know but we'll get down there there's water that is uh, actually flowing through those little grooves down into the river you can see it uh and i've actually uh well <laughs> we'll be there in just a minute and there's a dude totally fishing down there i wonder if he's caught anything anyways people come from all over to walk this bridge and behind us here back there that's all downtown area the alico building or the alico tower and all that and we're not actually going to walk all the way across but um, i'm just going to get a little bit closer so you can see uh, the building you see straight through there um, is brand new it's uh some apartments like some lofts that they just recently built so what they're trying to do is they're trying to connect the downtown area to um the other side which is previously a uh, kind of an undesirable area of waco but they're trying to modernize it trying to clean it up bring it back that's doris miller park on the other side over there if you ever seen the movie pearl harbor uh cuba gooding jr plays the the guy on the 50 cal like ah do, 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 and he's shooting down the uh, the japanese zeros during the attack on pearl harbor um doris miller that guy, the real guy, was from Waco. Fun fact. And now you know. But anyways, that is a memorial park that was uh, built in honor of Doris Miller. And that is also where um, we did our gender reveal for Amelia Francis. Yeah, so as you can see, there's actually a staircase that gets you all the way down there to the river. I don't know exactly when all this stuff was built, but it's, it's newer-ish. You know what I mean? Like, this is not all original Waco. It is really neat through here though, man. Oh. Show you this right quick. So a uh, a buddy of mine, Matt, explained to me that the reason why this rise is here like this is because this was an amphitheater. And in fact, if you look here, this was a stage and see all these little diamond footings? These were all the uh the mounting points for the amphitheater like backdrop. You know what I mean? Like there was a backdrop here just for putting on concerts and stuff. I guess it was all kind of back in a heyday or whatever. Like there you can see more of the Longhorns up there in that, that bronze trail. Alright, so back to our history lesson. If you can picture um, none of this concrete infrastructure being here, right? You imagine the Indians, the Huecoan Indians, um, when they first arrived on the banks of this river, right here, I mean centuries ago, they noticed all of this running water, right? See how they have the grooves cut through here so it can still flow? And of course, natural spring, this is ice cold. Yeah. I would imagine you could drink this if you <laughs> if you really had to. It's probably pretty dang fresh water. You can see it running. It's running out of the spring. And this is just like one part of it. So pretty cool though. Just mother nature, man. God's gift. Still running. We'll walk down here and uh check out the bigger feature, which is actually like a the spring encapsulated in this rock wall or whatever. Oh, look, he got something. He got something. What do you get? <laughs> Did you get anything, man? Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's see what this kid got. Let's see what we got, man. Oh, yeah? Nice, dude. That's good eating right there. That's a two, two and a half pound cat. Decent. Yeah, out of the, they were there for it. Oh, awesome. Right on, dude. Hey, yeah, you have a good weekend. Well, I have another one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there it goes, man. You better get it. I just have to let it hook. It's a circle hook and hook yourself. Right on. Hey, you ever get on YouTube? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you're on YouTube now, man. Look me up. My channel name is Half Click Up. Say hi to the people. Right on. <laughs> he didn't catch any of that. He won't remember that name. It's all good. All right. So 
This larger feature, obviously it's wet, and it's wet all the time because it's a spring, but you can barely see the water running. Um, you can kind of see it there. Again, I got you guys in super view, so it might not be that noticeable, but uh, you get down here and feel this water. It's moving. Yeah, ice cold, dude. It's pretty cool. Natural clean water source. So again, the history lesson. You know, the Indians, they set up shop here. You know, none of this concrete was here. It was just, you know, it's probably a freaking natural beach to some extent. You know, they, they pulled up in their boats and whatnot, and they're like, you know, oh, man, look, fresh water. Check it out. Next thing you know, they build a settlement, and uh, they, I guess, named it after their own tribe. And uh, the, <laughs> the English white man came in and probably changed the the HOA or whatever H-O-A-C-A-N I think to W-A-C-O to just Englishize it is that a word Waco W-A-C-O yeah anyways um, and I guess the rest of the rest is history it's nice right heart of Texas Now, wait a minute. That's nasty. We won't ask any questions. We'll just walk away. They're not very afraid, are they? Yeah, they look like they can be mean. Well, anyways, I guess we can get out of here. Take it easy, man. Good luck. Did you find that channel? I mean, no, I Half click up. It's on there. He's like, I don't give a shit about your punk ass YouTube channel, boy. See ya, cow. Nice bike. Thank you. You're well, anyways, guys, that about wraps up today's exploration. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, I intend to bring other uh, new episodes to the Exploring Waco uh, series here. There's plenty of other stuff to see. Uh, be sure and check out the other uh, explorations up here in my, uh, my playlist. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and smash that like button for me, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, boys and girls, this has been me, and that's been you. So I have to click up. I'm out of here. Peace and good. Bye.